inaugurate the FIO's Indian business portal by clicking the button. Did you know that Indian e-commerce exports are expected to grow to 125 billion US dollars by 2030? Federation of Indian Export Organizations, in its constant endeavor to help Indian exporters grow, is pleased to introduce an e-commerce marketplace to support our Indian exporters get global visibility. Federation of Indian Export Organizations, in partnership with Global Linker, launches Indian Business Portal an international trade hub for Indian exporters and foreign buyers. Indian Business Portal is focused on promoting exports from all Indian states, showcasing India's strength in a wide range of products and services, encouraging virtual meetings between buyers and sellers, providing a trusted network to foreign buyers, finally fueling the growth of Indian exporters through e-commerce. Buyers and sellers can trade in 4,500 plus product categories, Special focus on empowering Indian artisans, farmers, and producers, dealing in over 370 Indian geographical indication categories. Over 30,000 unique products and services are already listed, and more are getting listed every day. Indian exporters and SMEs can join Indian Business Portal to get a free e-commerce website when international payments are registered. Showcase their products and services in different categories and currencies. Accept orders and inquiries from foreign buyers. Get support and assistance from FIO and Global Linker teams. Join as a seller in three easy steps. Visit Indian Business Portal and click on List Products. Verify your importer-exporter code, add business and product details. Activate payments and logistics. Foreign buyers can register too. Find all verified suppliers at one place. Browse from various categories and products. Interact directly with suppliers. Get support and assistance from FIO. Join as a buyer in three easy steps. Register yourself as a buyer. Add your business information. Choose categories that you are interested in. FIO will promote the marketplace worldwide to help Indian exporters, SMEs, artisans promote their products and services globally. Come on board and create your business profile today on the Indian Business Portal. www.indianbusinessportal.in To get started, PO is inviting more than 5,000 foreign buyers from different countries to register on Indian Business Portal. Join Indian Business Portal. List your products and services now. Register as a seller. Thank you, ma'am. Now, all the government officials, diplomats, exporter present in the auditorium, more than 2,500 participants watching the event live on YouTube and about 10 Indian missions connected to us on Zoom are very keen to listen the Honorable Union Minister of State for in Commerce and Industry on her vision for Indian exports. May I request you, ma'am, for your keynote address, please. A very good evening. Mr. Santosh Sarangi ji, Director General Foreign Trade. Dr. A. Saktival, President Fio. Vice President Fio. Mr. Khalid Khan. Mr. Samir Vakil, the CEO of Global Linker. Dr. Rajesh Sahai, DG and CEO of Fio. Esteemed members from the exporter community, our officials from Government of India, from different ministries, and our uh, very special guests who have joined us virtually, the Indian ambassador to Japan, Portugal, Belarus, Austria, Sofia, Dakar, 
and various trade representatives from India to different countries, and also Ambassador of Belarus to India is very much with us here today. And my friends from media, everybody who's joined in 2,500, if I heard the figure correctly, 2,500 people have joined us virtually. So all our friends, ladies and gentlemen, of the launch of the India Business Portal developed by PO, which I believe will go a long way in giving global visibility to the Indian exporters. And it will come out as a very important platform, as it says, an international trade hub, which will be able to showcase the Indian products and services from every nook and corner of the country to buyers across the world. It's a very, very important initiative. I extend my good wishes to FIO. And this initiative comes at a very appropriate time when the government of India is placing a lot of emphasis on export promotion, especially in the post-pandemic times. And I'm very delighted to state that despite the, after these severe worldwide disruptions which are created by the COVID pandemic, India's export of goods and services have rebounded in an unprecedented manner. And you are well aware with the figures, the merchandise exports from India touched an all-time high and are to the tune of $421.89 billion in 2021-22, which is a phenomenal increase of 44.6%, ladies and gentlemen, over the year 2020-21, and 34.6% increase over the merchandise export target set for the year 2019-20. In addition to this, our services exports have also set a new record of $254.4 billion for the year 2021-22, beating the previous high of $213.2 billion. So overall, if we see the merchandise and the services exports collectively, they have scaled a new high of $676.2 billion. So these figures really make us proud and our ambitions go very high. We expect so much from the exporter community. And I think in that background, such an initiative to come up with this kind of a portal becomes very important. Our exports, ladies and gentlemen, have continued this robust growth this year also in 2022-23. And in this April, an increase of 38.9% over the same period last year. So we are continuing with the momentum. The year gone by has actually told us about the strong resolve and the resilience of our industry, especially in the face of the adverse situations. But if you want to continue this march on the path of growth, this journey, then we have to be more proactive in dealing with the emerging challenges. The Government of India Ministry of Commerce and Industry is very much committed to this goal, as can be seen in the signing of the two very important FTAs lately, Comprehensive Economic Partnership Agreement with the UAE and the Economic Cooperation and Trade Agreement with Australia. We're also aware that we are fast-tracking our FTAs with a lot of other developed countries like UK, EU, Europe, and maybe by this year end, we would be able to give a final shape to a few of these. The FTA with the UAE has already been operationalized, and with Australia, the ECTA is going to be oper operationalized very soon. So we're making all these efforts because we want to create better opportunities which are available. And it is very rightly said that there is, one of the speakers said, that this is the most opportune time to get into a business in India, get into exports in India, 
the environment is very much conducive and we all we want our entrepreneurs startups smes indian businesses exporters everybody to make use of these opportunities which have been made available with the special efforts of the ministry of commerce and industrial government of india the role of organizations like fio of course become very crucial in capacity building for our indian entrepreneurs particularly our smes our startups and providing guidance to them and hand holding them in entering the export business i'm very happy that this business portal the india business portal has been developed by few on its own without any government support and is quite a welcome and a timely step so it will promote the digital marketing of the indian products and services abroad and the best part of it being in line with the government of india's vision for a digital india and also the priority that it gives to the smes startups make in india local goes global initiative so it is very much in line with the vision of the government we've also seen during the pandemic situation that the digitization of businesses has helped a lot in causing a hassle free cross border trade which was enabled through the already established infrastructure and the supply chains i've also been told that this portal has been designed as an international trade hub for indian exporters and foreign buyers where the indian sellers are going to be creating a uniform identity they will have their own e-commerce store with a list a catalog of the products and services they sell and there will be a lot of facilities which are going to be offered on this portal in the form of the e-payment gateway or the connection with the logistic service providers the buy seller meetings and of course the direct buying of the various products and services available across india by our overseas consumers by using by sourcing the single digital press so this is a very important initiative and the best part being a diverse product mix being allowed on this portal and smes and startups will be able to identify new markets for their products and services ladies and gentlemen over the years few has played a very important role in the development and promotion of india's exports and in this direction the indian business portal will certainly play an important role in facilitating the enhancement of india's trade linkages with the international market the portal is an e market place which is expected to boost exports from the artisans and farmers as well with gi products and i was just sitting with dr saktibal and inquiring that after i launched this portal i have a lot of inquiries from my own constituency and from my own state people who have never exported in life who would want to know how exactly register on their this portal and become an exporter so i think for the small farmers for the artisans this could be a big opportunity it will absolutely uh, empower the M msmes and the uh, startups to leverage the e-commerce platform and drive indian exports in our march towards a self reliant india an atmanirbhar bharat as said by honorable prime minister sri narendra modi ji i congratulate few once again on the launch of this portal i expect it to play a big role in making exports easy and accessible for not lakhs i would say innumerable indian exporters and the aspiring msmes and uh, startups and artisans and farmers everybody to showcase their local innovations and expertise globally thank you very much ladies and gentlemen thank you ma'am